or welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be installing this wig that I got from TikTok shop from West Kiss Hair and reviewing the Boho Waterproof Lace Glue. I think it's the Boho Max. So we'll be doing both of those in this video. I'm in Turks and Caicos right now finishing this video, but I'm gonna be showing y'all how it held up and me getting in the ocean, getting in the water. If I had any lifting, how it held up through the heat, through getting it wet, everything. So yeah, if you wanna see all of that, then keep on watching. All right, y'all, so today we're gonna be testing out the Boho Max silicone adhesive. It's supposed to be waterproof. I don't know how new it is on the market, but I normally use the Boho Active for my installs when I use lace glue, and that's the only glue I've ever used. I've never used anything else. I've never used Ghost Bond or none of that. I've always used Boho, so we're gonna be trying out the new Boho Max silicone adhesive that's supposed to be waterproof. I'm going to be testing this out on vacation. I leave to go to Turks and Caicos tomorrow, so I figured this would be the time to test this out so we can really see how it holds up in the water in the weather sweating all that so let's go ahead and put it on i already did my bog cap just have a regular bog cap i've already applied the makeup to the lace i didn't bleach the knots or pluck it or anything this wig actually came pretty well customized already so i didn't do anything to it but the directions say to clean the skin with soapy water alcohol is not recommended so i did do that already and then it says use several layers of boho skin protect oh let me get that so several layers of the boho skin protect i've had this bottle for years and i'm still not out of this yet so i'm gonna put this on and then it says apply a very thin layer of the boho max to the skin only never apply to your hair obviously you may apply up to three layers and layers must be tacky before applying to the lace so it's, this isn't like the boho active where it's white and then when it turns clear, so you have to wait for this to turn tacky because it's already clear. And then it says allow 24 hours to cure before contact with moisture. So let's get to it. I'm just going to apply it like I do any other wig. I haven't opened it yet. It did come with the little squeeze tip, but it also has the brush applicator on the inside. So let's see. I'm scared y'all I and mean, this is risky doing on a trip because I don't want my hair to be messed up on the trip if like the wig do try and come off or like it come off in the water or something. This is really not the time to be playing. I'm trying to get my content too on top of that but I'm doing this for y'all to really put it to the test so y'all can see what's really tea with this. Okay I got the thing open so I think I just screwed the oh no oh no 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 
Y'all, I was just so close to ruining this wig. I had took the top off and didn't realize it was so much glue like that was gonna drip off. And I spilled it on the wig, but it got inside the cap part. But I got it all off with just some alcohol. It came off. Boy, if it had got on the hair, I'd have been so mad. Okay, let's try this again. Okay, got our little squeeze applicator on there. So let me put on my skin protect. Okay, put the wig on. Like, I think they customize this wig really well. Look at it. No knots. Didn't even have to bleach them. It's plucked. Like, when y'all companies be seeing pre-bleached and pre-plucked, this is what it needs to look like. Because some of y'all just be straight line. All right, so now I'm going to put the combs in so that we don't have to worry about it sliding back or anything like that. Okay, so now I'm gonna mark the hairline so I know where to start with the glue. I'm just using some foundation a little bit lighter than me so it can show up. By the way, this is the Ruby Kisses Cream Foundation number 12, and I'm using the lightest shade in there. Okay, and now it's time to put the glue on. I'm scared. I don't know why I'm scared, I'm scared. Why is this so hard to get out? This stuff's so stringy. I don't like the consistency of this. Like it's real gummy and like sticky. Like it ain't even applying smoothly. I don't know about this y'all. Okay, that's one layer. I'm gonna do three, I guess. This is stressing me out. Maybe I should have stuck with the brush because I'm squeezing this bottle with all my might. This stuff is messy. I don't know about this y'all, cause I can't even spread it out then before it starts like gumming up. Okay, I'm gonna pull the lace down. We finna see. I ain't got time for this, y'all. I don't. I don't have no backup plan.
Okay, do I spray it down like I do on my other wigs or what? Okay, I sprayed it down. My camera cut off, but I sprayed it down. And I'm just gonna tie it down with the band that they were so kind to provide for us. I don't know about this, y'all. I don't know. Okay, blow drying on high and hot. I'm just taking the comb in of an edge brush to loosen up the hairs from where I sprayed it down. All right, let's cut the ears tabs and then cut the lace off. I don't know y'all, this lace is already looking a little funny. Looking a little ashy or like white after tying it down. It didn't look like that before I tied it down. I don't know if I didn't apply the layer thin enough or what. And I don't think the makeup is helping y'all. All right, I'm gonna clean off the lace. I mean, I'm gonna clean off my forehead, clean off this makeup with some alcohol, and then I'm gonna see what I can do for this lace. Looking ashy. Okay, I'm gonna put some of this pump it up spritz. See if that'll help blend it a little better. I've been seeing people say that that helps, so I don't know. And then I'm gonna do like some real small edges, like some that look natural, like the like little little curls up there. I'm not trying to like lay them for real. Okay, I think that helped. And then I'm not gonna style it. I'm just gonna wear it curly. I don't even know if I'm gonna do a part. I think I'm just gonna let it fall however it falls. I might cut it a little bit. Or do you think I should leave it this length? I kinda wanna cut it to like here. I don't know. I'll leave it like this for now. Ooh, that does not look good right there.
think that's all I'm gonna do for it. I think that's all I can do. Um, this little area right here, where like some of the glue came through the lace is a little jacked, but the rest of it looks good. So I'm gonna leave it like this. I'm gonna wear it like this on the trip. And then when I come back, I will be back with an update showing y'all all the things I did as far as getting my hair wet um, on the trip and then how it held up at the end of the trip. So yeah, y'all, that's it for now. At least this glue is working because I'm sweating so bad. Girl, it is hot. It was hot at the airport. They had a standing outside. When you walk off the plane, you walk off outside. You don't walk off into the airport. It was hot in the car. It was hot on the way here. But I guess that's good because I sweat really bad. Like I sweat, especially in my head. And this glue is doing what it needs to do. So I guess this is all part of putting it to the test. So I'm gonna get in some water next. And I was sweating really bad yesterday when I was outside too, putting up some of our fall decorations. It didn't move. My hair, it don't move. You hear what I'm telling you? It don't move. So we just did some shopping at the market. And I just want to show y'all because I've just been telling y'all how I've been sweating. We were outside and we're looking at my shirt. So yeah, that's any indication of how much I've been sweating and this glue is still holding up. It's not moving. So ugh, it's time to get in some water. Y'all, I'm gonna get in this water. I'm scared. I'm supposed to get out of here with this foolishness. I done told her I ain't able. <laughs> My wig's still on. I'm scared to pull it. <sighs> it just went under the water. How does it look, y'all? It's still there, it's still intact. Can't see. Don't pay attention to the install or the glue because I know some of it seeped through. But I think it's holding up. I think it's holding up. My hair is already starting to dry. When I installed it, I tried to apply it thin, but I don't know what was happening. I'm just not used to working with that glue, and it's so like sticky, like stringy. Yeah, it's like stringy, like hot glue. And yeah, after I had watched the video on how the girl did it on the hair page, she did like applied it to like a edge brush or like a the spatula end of edge brush and like did it section by section, which is what I should have did. I tried to do it all at once. I did three layers instead of trying to do, do a bunch of dots thing. cause then by the time you get to this side, these over here are drying, but it's working. It's working. Don't mind my ugly install, but it's working. About I know the next time if I wear a wig on vacation, it will be this hair. I like this type of hair and I will use that glue. I'll just, you know, know how to apply it next time. Yeah, some of the glue has seeped through. So if you wonder why it looks like that, some of the glue has seeped through when I did this install, but yeah. All right, so after we got in from the pool and the wig and everything dried, I don't know why it started turning white. Y'all can see that, but I sprayed this Sebastian Shaper Plus because that's the only type of hair spray I had and it fixed it, so. Yeah, I don't know. I'm done with the photo shoot sand all in my hair because he had me do some laying on the beach. But yeah, I had to go back to the room and literally rinse my entire head. But the wig is still on. So putting the glue to the test even more, I had to rinse my entire head and it's still sand everywhere. But 
Oh well. All right, y'all. I'm still in Turks and Caicos. I just want to give y'all an update, a final update on the wig glue. So y'all saw when I got in the ocean, it stayed on, it did not come off. I didn't have to tie it down or nothing to keep it on. I just let it air dry. But the only problem I really had with it was when I did get it wet or like when I was sweating profusely. Like the first two days when I was sweating, I didn't have this issue. But after I got in the ocean and then every time I got it wet after that, when I had to wash my hair out, when I got sand all in my hair after the kayak photo shoot, and after I got in the ocean, like it would turn white. Like all of it would turn white after it dried. And it looked like that when it was wet, but after it dried, it, all of it was white. I don't know what that was about. I don't know if that's something that I did with the install. Cause like I said, some of the glue had seeped through because I didn't spread my layers out as thin as I could have because I'm just not used to working with that glue yet. But that's what the only issue I had and then I did. The only lifting I had was right here. Right here on this ear tab. But as far as everything else, it has not moved, it has not went anywhere. So I don't know, I feel like it's worth it. If I were to wear a wig again on vacation, I would definitely use that glue. Gotta get more practice with working with that glue because like I said, it's not the same consistency as the boho active, so yeah. So now I'm gonna give y'all my final review on the wig itself. So she is big head friendly and I have any trouble getting her on. The lace was easy to work with, easy to blend. It was pre-bleached, pre-plucked. I didn't do any customizing to it. I literally just washed it. And a lot of times when companies pre-customize wigs and they say it's pre-customized, they don't look pre-customized. This one did. And I definitely will be getting a wig like this from them again. I love curly hair, I love big hair. So I definitely will be getting another wig from them. I got off a TikTok shop, so I will link that in the description box. But yeah, I love how full it is. I love how natural it looks. Like, I just love the curl pattern. I think the length is what it says it is. The only issue I had with the wig was the shedding. It does shed a good bit. It does shed a little bit more than the average wig sheds, but that's about it. But I really love this wig, so I'm going to give it a 9.5 out of 10. If you want to purchase this wig for yourself, the link will be in the description box below. But yeah, that's really all I got to say. I definitely recommend it, and I definitely recommend the glue. You just need to know how to work with it. Just like apply it a little bit at a time. Don't go like all the way across. Awesome. Yeah, y'all, that's it for this video. Hope y'all enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye!